Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and if you're new to my channel and you're into astrology or you're very open to learning about astrology then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Today I'll be talking about Venus in Virgo, the placement. What does it mean to have your Venus sign in the sign of Virgo? Venus in Virgo people have a need or a desire to really be of service to their partners and to show their love through the little things in life and through the very practical useful things in life and that's usually gonna come in the form of service through tangibility through loyalty through just really being there showing it through their actions Venus and Virgo is not a huge fan of pointless gifts or you know silly romantic nothings being whispered into your ear they seek that as sort of pointless and sort of frivolous and they don't really see that as a true expression of love and what they see as a true expression of love is really being there for a partner and really showing it through action through doing things for them if if they had a love language it would definitely be acts of service and it's just one thing that I really associate with Venus and Virgo. One of their strongest qualities of a Venus and Virgo is that they show it they show it modestly. They don't really need they don't really see a desire or need to show it ostentatiously. You know, love is about proving yourself, backing up your words, your feelings with actions and doing so modestly. You know, love doesn't really need to be this big huge production. Or, or like this performance of some sort. Venus in Virgo is going to be very quiet and modest and unassuming about how they show their love. And it'll be very practical, very useful, very very much based in reality. And, you know, it's just very simple with them. Their love is very simple and subtle. Sometimes they won't even try to take credit for the things that they do. You know, they're, they're going to like, they kind of see these things that they do for their partner and think well these are just basic things that I should be doing and you know this is how I express my love why do I need to have why do I need to receive this pat on the back for it or like be noticed for it Venus and Virgo is super modest they can even go to the point of just being way too self-sacrificial in love and relationships and not always take the credit for where it's due and this can sort of lead their partners to be taking to take advantage of them and I think that's really probably the biggest downside to a Venus in Virgo they say that Venus is in its fall in Virgo the reasoning behind that is actually because Virgo is very modest in how they express their love and it's and it's like unassuming and quiet but to be honest I don't really see that as their weakness I see that personally as a, a partner who gives in a very useful and practical way and it's not like a super big show or like frivolous or overly romantic or overly sentimental like I don't really see uh, their quiet modesty as a fall for Venus and Virgo what does tend to happen to them a lot is that their actions are so subtle and so so like this and like sort of behind the scenes that their partners can take advantage of them and they they don't always like see or recognize that this is what my partner did and without them where would i be where would i be like they did this act of service for me and they helped me out where when i could when they could and so they don't always notice that and you know that's not even the fault of a venus in virgo that's the fault of their partners if a Venus and Virgo person loves you, they might show it through very subtle little ways. Like I said, they, they don't really seek recognition for showing off and, or, or doing things for you. They might try to help you out in many different ways. They might try to be there for you when they can. They might try to like go out of their way to show that they're available to you, that they're going to be there for you, they're going to try to make life easier for you basically and so that's one those are a few ways that a venus and virgo can show that they're interested in you um but then again you might 
not really it might not really register to you that that's their way of showing affection they're not gonna be the type to like write you a poem write you, or send you like a playlist of all these cheesy love songs they're not gonna like paint a picture for you they're not gonna they're not gonna like write it in the sky or anything like that it's really not gonna be obvious and showy like that at all venus and virgo really appreciates the little things in love they really appreciate simple relationships where there is equal give and take where it's about two people being there for each other and re and helping each other and being there in each other's lives for a specific purpose for to be of use to each other and to help each other out they really enjoy routine they enjoy the constancy of a long-term relationship and making things work with a partner and fixing the problems working on the problems is a really huge thing for venus and virgo and for them to be satisfied you know they're not going to be the types to shove problems or imperfections into under the rug they need to work on them they need to solve it they need they're gonna face those problems head on with you and that's just another one of their strengths is that they don't run away from problems or conflict they they like to face it they they can kind of see the relationship as like this project this sort of they're, they're gonna see the relationship as like this project where they they can think critically about it they can make some analyses or assessments about it and they can really pinpoint where those troubles are really in the relationship and really cut through to it and just nip it in the bud get it and, and solve it right then and there they're really going to be the ones those types of partners who do that they might even see you their partner as this project that they can work on this project that they can fix and what's sort of a paradox for venus and virgo is that they get this reputation for being perfectionists, right? They get this reputation for being really picky with their partners. And yet, at the same time, they might choose simple partners who are who seem fairly easy to please or, or seem like unassuming or not like wanting to be the star of the show. They're going to choose those partners and sort of wait for the imperfections to show. A Venus and Virgo partner will try will like look at them as somebody that they can fix they're gonna like look at them as like this project that needs working on that they can help improve it's weird because if they're so picky why aren't they choosing people who are already perfect themselves you know venus and virgo gets this reputation for having like this long ass checklist of you need to be this you need to be this you need to have this degree you need to be finished with all your shit you need to be at the top of your game and have you know sparkling blue eyes or whatever and yet they like to save those people who are who look like they need help <laughs> they like to um pick those people out and choose them as partners so that the venus and virgo can help fix them help improve their life venus and virgo is not going to feel useful to you if they see you as perfect already if they see that you know you have your whole entire life together and you don't really need their help if they see a person who is kind of like suffering or like just wandering aimlessly through life they're gonna see that and they might be they could either be like repelled by it or attracted to it and i i i really see them being attracted to that because they could they potentially see you as a person that needs them a venus and virgo person wants to feel needed they want to feel like they can serve sort of purpose in your life i guess in that case it's sort of a good thing or a plus to be sort of not really knowing what you're doing and then a venus and virgo will kind of see that and they're gonna be like oh let me help you let me like let me um give you some advice let me guide you let me help you let me do what i can to like help you get back on your feet they're gonna be that type to try to save you there is it, like in that way they're attracted to the the what do you call it the train wrecks i really think that a partner who will truly satisfy a venus and virgo in the long run as hard as it might be to satisfy them because they're they're looking for something super super specific and something they have they set very very high standards for themselves and for their relationships for their partners but 
in the long term what will really keep them interested in you and, and continually invested in the relationship is if you are giving back to them as much as they give to you and if you really notice those details that they tend to and if you give them the proper credit that they don't always get with everybody then they're gonna feel different with you you're gonna say oh this person actually thanked me today and actually noticed what i did for them wow i'm really not used to you know getting that sort of attention or getting that sort of credit and you know it's that feeling of being recognized and knowing that you're not being um, taken for granted that will keep a venus and virgo around for the long haul and they're really going to appreciate that and the more they're going to want to keep doing things for you as long as you return the favor and you notice what they do and you and you say and you show your appreciation for it so while at the same time they have such high standards and such high expectations for their relationships i also see venus and virgo as really being very simple too in in what they expect out of romance which is so ironic that's like the whole paradox of a venus and virgo is that they what's what's going to keep them around is is just simple recognition simple appreciation those are just so such basic things to give a person in in a relationship if you guys do the same exact things every day go to the same places go to the same go on the same types of dates at the same time the same day of the week they don't mind that they like that they enjoy they enjoy just simple company simple pleasure simple conversations and you know, is that really so hard to ask for <laughs> is that really like a tall order that they are asking of their partners um so is it really that difficult to be with a venus and virgo maybe maybe at first it can seem like it because they're very conscious of they're very much aware of your your shortcomings and where you fall short and and your imperfections you know the little things the, the nitpicky things and so it can feel a little bit smothering a little bit like why is this person like picking all these things like nitpicking on me and and like pointing out every single flaw that i have but really they don't do that to hurt you they don't do that to get on your nerves or just be like the second mom to you they Venus and Virgo does that because they care a lot and they care about helping you and and helping you improve they're all about the self-improvement and they're going to show that they're going to demonstrate that through love through through their partnerships as well they're going to want you to want to improve yourself as well and to be the best that you can be for them and not just for them but for yourself too because they're also working on themselves venus and virgo can be the harshest critic of themselves and if you think that they're harsh on you their inner voice is a million times worse um same thing with moon and virgo too but venus is also about how you value yourself and with virgo placed in virgo it's hard for them to really see the good side it's easy for them much easier for them to see what i don't like about myself and and what are the things that i need to change and what can i do to improve you know that's not very healthy for a venus sign placement because you know venus wants to help you see the good in yourself and see what you really like in yourself and see and recognize that as your asset that's that's that it's something to show off that it's something good and beneficial to offer the world and it's hard being in the sign of virgo because they tend to be pessimists that sign of virgo is very pessimistic and it's just very per perfectionist very pedantic venus and virgo people are always giving always always giving they hardly ever take from you and they hardly expect you know anything from you really just they crave the simple things in life here and they want a simple love a very straightforward simple uncomplicated love and you know the occasional ups and downs are okay the occasional like obstacles are okay because it does give them something to work towards and it does give them like this sense of purpose that they're there for a reason that they're there to like help you to be of use to you and everything that comes out of their mouth 
towards you, whether, even if it seems a little bit harsh, a little bit critical, it's all coming from a good place in their heart, and it's all always about love for them. This is how they show their love, through through helping you and through being that partner that just continually gives. So I think that's about all I have to say about Venus and Virgo. If you're a Venus and Virgo, please don't be too harsh on me in the comments if I, <laughs> if I kind of... Uh, missed a few things just help me out here and let me know what I missed and leave a comment down below what your Venus sign is and if you identify with it what you think about it what you've heard about it and follow me on my social medias on tumblr and twitter at lunar Cappy. and please remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again for another Venus sign video